Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I'm getting ready to bring you your Virgo reading. So if your sun, moon, or rising is in Virgo, welcome to my channel. If you are a Virgo lover, what's up? All right, so Virgo lovers, uh, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you or y'all just simply switch flip the roles as you see fit, okay? Um, I don't know if you are masculine or feminine. Um, I don't know what role you play in your story, only you do, okay? So I may say it's feminine energy, but if you feel like that's your energy, then it's you. If you don't feel like it's your energy at all or your situation, don't force this to fit in your story, okay? Um, this is collective reading, so I'm tapping into a lot of people's energy. I'm not gonna always have your full story. So use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this this video okay if you want a personal reading feel free to reach out to me I do keep the link in the detail box below this video or you can go to my Instagram which is um, the light workers society and that link is also in the detail box below this video okay and you can click on that link and it'll take you directly to my website y'all um, let me set my intentions before we get started thank you Holy Spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective Virgo reading Ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of these readings. Thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly. I'm definitely appreciative for you guys showing up and showing out and that my message reaches the right people at the right times and the right places. All right, y'all, I'm so appreciative for you guys. Um... My community has grown tremendously because of y'all, and I definitely love to shout y'all out every single time or chance that I can get because you guys do not know how much you have helped me grow, and I thank you, okay? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. All right, y'all, so if you're feeling my vibe, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. So you got a situation here that's going to be improving, all right, whether it's your health, whether it's love, um, whatever that may be, I'm seeing some improvements here with the improving health card, okay? So I'm going to pull tarot. I use my um, angel answer deck, so we're going to see what's up with this. Show me what I need to see in regards to this improving health card here, Spirit. Look. Queen of Wands in the reverse coming right out. So it's something going on here, right? So flip the rose, y'all. I, I don't I don't really feel like this shit energy. So the Queen of Wands, Virgo, it's karmic energy. But if you definitely feel like you may be operating in this demanding, revengeful energy, creating arguments, being very explosive, then that would be you. Okay, so that's low vibrational energy, y'all. But I don't feel like this is you. Okay, this is someone that's in your energy. All right. Um but with this Queen of Wands that's in the reverse here, Spirit is saying that uh, it's a situation that's happening here with this person that is um, it's going to clear out. OK, this person has been creating challenges all right, in your life here or in a situation that you have. OK, so this person is very revengeful. The Queen of Wands in the reverse also does that that manipulation, spell work type shit. Right now, all of these karmic energies um, with the queen of wands will of course won't be doing spell work but spell work also can be the form of just speaking negative shit out your mouth um it could also be them projecting negative emotions or just being straight out deceitful um and uh, revengeful things like that right manipulative right um but whatever's happening with that situation here spirit is saying look check this out it's getting ready to improve for you okay so tell us more about this spirit what is this queen of wands um rough what, what, what do we need to know about this okay so this person here with the higher font in the reverse um definitely has been uh let's just say this being very <sighs> rebellious about something here and this Queen of Wands in reverse is not in alignment with a certain process here that you're following here um, for you. OK, whether this be I, I really feel heavily about this being a karmic person that is um, tied to your person, Virgo. OK, and what I'm seeing here is that they don't agree all right, with this process that you guys are following. Thank you. 
show me about it. Yeah, they're heartbroken by it is what I'm hearing. And they're really stuck. They're stuck. They're not, they're failing to stay present for the most part here. Um, and, they're, and they're not able to move on at this time. Um, you're over here. You're healing this shit, Virgo. <laughs> you're making your personal transitions. You're going towards the sun. Okay. <laughs> you're going towards your new beginning. And this person, whoever this fire sign is, is definitely heartbroken. Okay. That's feminine energy here, Virgo. All right. So you're going towards your happiness. You're going towards, man, new beginnings, joy. It's so much positivity that's coming to you. And you are even coming closer to your person here. Okay. And this is breaking this person's heart here. All right. And thank you. Show me what I need to see about this Queen of Wands in the reverse here. Okay, so your person here, damn, your person is moving slow, right? With the Knight of um, Pentacles, okay? They they moving steady, they moving slow right now. But guess what? Spirit is saying they're reliable right now, all right? They're working on um, trying to complete everything here if, um, efficiently, okay? And that's what's happening here. But... Once this person comes in for you, they're coming in for the long term. All right. They're coming in, committing, being reliable, being practical. This Knight of Pentacles, this masculine energy here is clear about something, has gained some clarity here. OK. <clears throat> and they're seeing through the lies is what Spirit is saying. Thank you. Show me about this. What are they seeing? What is this masculine energy seeing here, Spirit? Woo. I'm going to do that again, Spirit. What is this masculine energy seeing here? Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Death and rebirth. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. So this masculine energy here is seen through the lies about this ending. Okay. They're seeing exactly what's happening here. They, they're realizing here that they have been clinging to the past, right, and failing to transition um, into their new beginning. Why? Because of the judgment card is in the reverse, because of their lack of self-awareness. It's because they are failing to learn a lesson and because they are juggling. So your person is seeing, seeing through their own bullshit is what I'm hearing. And a part of that bullshit is that karmic situation that they got going on here. And it's, it was because your light shines so bright, Virgo, with the sun card. What you're doing is shining so bright. It's, it's ricocheting off of every fucking thing right now. Let me tell you, your, your person here is, is catching it. This other person here is catching it. And it's helping your person here to see through the lies here because now you're focusing on your own personal transition. Okay, so thank you. Yep. And they're not offering, they're being very cold to that karmic person. All right. With the Ten of Pentacles also in the reverse position with my Ace of Pentacles here, but it was in a reverse position. Okay. So they feel like they're getting ready to miss out on an opportunity here when it comes to you. And they're looking for stability. For the most part, right? And they, and they know if they keep continuing to stay blindfolded here to this person, they're going to miss out. But however, they're realizing, you know, it's going to be some disputes. Because if they break this tradition with this Queen of Wands here in the reverse, it's going to cause some conflict. And guess what? It's going to be some outside opinions too. Your person has been definitely trying to be a peacemaker here with this situation because literally you ain't been competing, Virgo. And I've been speaking about that for the last couple of readings, but this is a competitive situation. But um, for the most part here, the karmic will with the will card just came out. Shit is getting ready to shift, change. It's already changing. This cycle was already playing out. So what's happening now is faded. This is fate right here. It's supposed to happen exactly the way it is. This karmic person, all of that manipulation and lying, 
and deception. And even if they are doing spell work, it's coming back on them. It's not working. It's back. Everything is not. Everything that they were trying to do is not working. And it's causing them some heartbreak here because your person here is steadily moving away from them. And Spirit is saying your situation is improving. You may not see it here because you can't see behind. You can't see behind the scenes. You really don't see what's happening with your person and that other person because they don't talk about it. All right. Five of cups in a reverse position. So your person has definitely moved into this energy of acceptance. And that's why they're moving on. They're healing. But this conflict is because they're healing. It's because they are. Releasing that negative energy, those feelings, right, that they had, being unhappy, disappointed, always sad, right? And it's, cre it's creating conflict. Thank you. But look, the Jessica card just slid on right on down my arm. I didn't even get the shuffle. This justice here is being served is what is happening now. This is the energy it feels like of now. Okay, so this justice is being served. Spirit is all up in this. This is about karma. So, yeah, karma is being served. And the scales will balance. And it, it, it's going to balance in your favor. All right, so, wow. Feel sorry for you, honey. Thank you. Strength. Your person is gaining the strength here. They now have this willpower, the confidence in all, even though it's a lot of stress and whatever they're going through here with, with this situation is causing them a lot of anxiety. OK, they definitely are being very resilient at this moment is what I'm hearing. That self-doubt is not there. So they're, they're, they're having a the confidence here to go after what it is that they want. All right. It's no it's like. They were unhappy. They weren't fulfilled. And now they're starting to gain this confidence. And they're seeing here like, okay, this shit was superficial. You know what I thought I wanted. What I thought happiness looked like wasn't real. This is why they're protecting you. They're protecting you. They're standing up for you. And they're standing up for themselves is what I'm hearing. And they're setting boundaries now. Thank you. This person is definitely does is not in agreement about this. They oppose you guys relationship. Whether however they th th this person has come in and spoke about you. They they your person has come in and spoke about you to them. I don't know if they how you know from previous readings they have um not really been telling the full truth. It's been more like yeah, that's my heart. That's that's my best friend that we're really cool like that, but not really saying to the depths of it. But this queen of wands is very intuitive on top of that. So they already know the truth behind what's not being said. OK, and that alone, even just from them saying that it still causes the heartbreak because you can't compete with that type of um, connection with someone. Right. And. They definitely oppose the fact that your person is getting ready to take these leaps of faith here into a whole new beginning that's not involving them. They want them to stay reckless. They want them to stay distracted. All right. But your person is like mm -mm, four swords. They coming out. They healing and they have awakened. Spirit is like, nah, they have awakened. So, yeah, mm -mm. this won't stand. They're healing and this queen of wands in reverse is heartbroken. Thank you. Just really feeling disconnected and very and contemplating on top of that. That karmic energy is is trying to figure out how to stop the progress of this situation with you and your person. This karmic person here is trying to make it where you guys don't get no results from this. OK, and trying to create hardship and loss for your person. But your person is still going is still moving forward is what I'm saying. Yep. Three of Wands in the reverse. Trying to cause restrictions. Trying to figure out all kinds of ways of how to to um, create obstacles. I'm talking about frustrating obstacles for your person. 
But your person is still conf in this energy of being confident and they want to expand. OK, but they could be being very arrogant here. So now it's like the roles are reversing. Yeah, they're probably being extremely arrogant. You know how whatever they were doing, it was kind of pushing them to push that energy off onto you. Right. Being reckless, being arrogant, um, defensive. But now it's like they're doing that to them. Whatever spell work, whatever manipulations is backfiring, is turning on them. And now your person is now, you know, not working on them, not focused on that situation here, running from that situation here. Right. In this arrogant energy. Thank you. They releasing it. The devil is in the reverse. Let me tell you, let me, a few months ago, y'all, the devil was like, bam, we here, bitches. <laughs> it's like, Whoa, pump the brakes. Right. <laughs> God, your person is definitely trying to stand in their power here. They are not trying and they holding on tightly to that shit. It's like, nah, I know what I want and I'm holding on to this. I'm not <laughs> relinquishing my power in this situation or my independence. I'm taking control of this and they holding on tightly to that. Thank you. Now, when it comes to this situation, they feel like it's hopeless. It's just like it's bullshit. And they are very they have a lot of anxiety about it. They don't trust that person and they have a lot of regret about it. They do. It's it's like they're at a breaking point when it comes to this. And they just like, you know what? It's there's nothing else that I really can do with this. Yeah, look at this. And they're learning how to cope. I'm hearing from you. You may be helping them with some things to, to elevate or even evolve in their own self. Right. OK, because it seems like they could be being transparent about their feelings or even just getting help with you with certain things in their healing, they're recovering and they're trying to heal the relationship with you. You coming in as the empress and the lovers. Like I was telling y'all not not all of y'all tuned in may be twin flames, but higher level soulmates here twin flame and the empress divine feminine you could just be um have a really i mean you could be connected to just a soulmate and y'all got a, a a real strong connection uh it's like you can still have other soulmates it's more than one right but you have that one where um you get along with them you love them or you have the karmic soulmate or you have your higher level soulmate and it looks like a lot of you guys are dealing with a higher level soulmate or just somebody that you have a very strong bond with okay and if you don't know if you're dealing with a higher level soulmate or not i do twin flame readings where we can find out who your person really is to you okay now for the most part here, they're very clear about you. They're clear as shit. They know you are their person. However it goes, they know you are the one. Okay. And they want union with you. They've made a decision and they made a good decision this time. All right. Before they made a very bad choice and the bad choice was they chose that other person. Right. But they were being blinded because this other person was doing all types of manipulation. The queen of wands also uses sex as a way or, or a tactic to um, manipulate. Okay. And that other queen of wands in the reverse might also be pregnant. Or have children by your person. That doesn't have to be y'all. Okay. They just not fruitful. Uh, when it comes to trying to create this loving uh, situation or family or whatever it is that they trying to get from your person. Okay. And then for the most part, what else I'm seeing is here that your person has been delaying something here. But spirit is still bringing balance to all of that too. So what they really been trying to do all along was avert some type of disaster, but it's happening. Thank you. What is, what is this tower in the reverse here, Spirit? So instead of them being very assertive and direct with it, they just being rude and aggressive or arrogant, right? Show me what I need to see. Yeah. So... Your person is definitely hopeless about it for the most part, um, but it's really a test of faith here. Spirit is testing the hell out of them or the universe just really trying to see how much they're going to trust, 
trust themselves or the divine or the universe, however it res resonates, right? Um, show me more. Seeing how they're going to handle this situation or close out this cycle here. So, yeah. And that's what, that's really, that, the death card came out. So, it's happening. It's happening. It's ending. Yeah, they're not taking or accepting any type of offers, invitations, or anything right now. They're disconnected right now because they know what the fuck. They're seeing through the lives. They already know exactly what this Queen of Wands here is doing. Even if they, they may even know if this Queen of Wands is doing some type of spell work. They're going towards that new beginning, y'all. The sun. Which is what you, it's your sun, it's your light that's projecting so bright here. And it's like, it's, it's bringing them in, okay? They're starting to try to, to do some work here on themselves just as much as you have been doing on yourself. And it's like, you're so positive and you're so bright and you're so radiant here, okay? It's who you, it's what you are. It's who you are. And they admire and they love the shit out of you because of that they are drawn to you because of that and it's like this sun whatever you're radiating here is pulling them in here and it's helping them to evolve and it's helping them to really face the problems that you guys have in a situation they have a, they are, they woke okay and they know who you are and they know you are their lover you are their partner you are who they want to marry the passion that they have is with you they don't have that passion with no one else that could you could be connected to an air sign gemini don't have to be, but the lover's card is definitely all day, Gemini. All right, now, look, let me tell y'all. Let me pull something real quick, and then I'm going to let y'all go, because I, I wanted this to be a short read. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. The Virgo. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Woo! Too much. Too many cards fell out, y'all. And then they fell on the floor. I'm going to move to another deck. I, I want to see. I feel like it's something else that needs to be said. And I don't feel like bending down to get them. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Look for the magic in your life and beware of your own emotions, okay? Thank you. Damn. It, it's not. Spirit don't want me to see it. So hold up. <laughs> That's crazy, y'all. I, that's all right. Somebody is trying to block me from saying something, but we're going to continue to push forward here. Spirit, what are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me? Because I think I'm missing it. Or what's happening here? Show me what I need to see. Karmic energy is, is, running, is running heavy right now. Hold on. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. The magician. Yep, that's what's happening. Wow. We send it back to the sender. <laughs> Tenfold. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Follow your heart here. Thank you. Because that decision is made. Your person is trying to create something here. Look at this. Same cards came out. They get ready to give back. They're withdrawn from that other situation here. And guess what? A windfall of abundance is coming to you. Protect what you created here, Virgo. Be prepared and never give up. And this is what that Queen of Wands is doing in reverse. Throwing these wands at you. But guess what? You got enough back and, back and in support. You can see it happen. It was almost as if somebody was just slapping the cards out my hand. Okay? So, no. Nah, you protect it here. You protect what you created. Keep covering yourself here. If this is something that you want because you do have free will, okay? So you don't have to do anything. Um, but this is intuitive advice, however, right? But if this is something that you want, be prepared and never give up. You ask your angels for help with this, okay? Literally, like I told you and how I say in the beginning when I, when I do the readings, protect us, right? Protect us. Cover us with your wonderful white lights, Archangel Michael. Protect us from any hurt, harm, or dangers, any negative energies, uh, projections, any spell work. Protect us. Thank you. And no weapons formed against us shall prosper. You got what it takes. 
that's it, y'all. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And look what time it is. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on. I love y'all. We got this. What I say? We are in this to win this. We are in this together. All right? So whatever the support is, I'm constantly going to keep trying to deposit back into y'all just as much as, you know, y'all are depositing back into me. What I'm learning, what I'm gaining, I'm bringing it back out to y'all because that's what we're here for to help all of us come together collectively and to raise our vibration so that we can help other people even to uh, come out of those lower uh lower vibrations right those karmic energies right because we've all been there before so we definitely understand right that we all been there and been heartbroken and knowing that we aligned ourselves with people who weren't our people right um but i'm not gonna go into it because this phone only holds but so much space and i don't feel like it cutting off on me but um y'all i'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow all right so we definitely no today is saturday shit i'm still gonna catch y'all y'all might get to reading today so this one and then i probably do one tomorrow night when i get back in the house all right i love y'all y'all have a good weekend be safe be blessed peace